Hi everyone, it's Connor here from Durham Hearing Specialists. I hope you're doing well and welcome to another very interesting video today. We've got another fungal infection. So if we creep into the ear with the endoscope, we can see just behind this wax, we can see this sort of white fuzzy furry material right there, as denoted by the arrow, and that is the fungus. Um, so it looks like it's probably Candida, um, Candida albicans, which probably any, everyone watching this video probably will have had it on them or growing in them at some point. It's very common. Um, so it's more commonly known as um, thrush. So you can get Candida albicans um, in your mouth or your skin or, or your nether regions. And uh, it's most commonly known as thrush, which can be treated with antifungal cream like canistin and so on. Um, but uh, in this case, because it's white and furry and fuzzy, that it's probably candida. Um, if it was any other type of fungus, um, like aspergillus, for example, it would look slightly different. Um, so there we go. You can see it kind of looks like kind of powder, like or snow, perhaps. Um, and it's just kind of quietly growing on this large chunk of wax and uh, dead skin there. So. As to why it occurs, and I touched on this in a previous fungal infection video, which I'll link down in the description below, which is also a very interesting case, but um, hard to say why it's occurred. I mean, th this patient does have a perforation of the eardrum, so it's quite possible that due, it's quite possible that he's had infections in the past, middle ear infections due to the perforation, so he's been prescribed perhaps some um, antibiotics, which have ended up kind of disturbing the natural kind of habitat, the sort of um, flora of microorganisms that naturally live in the ear, some of them helpful, some of them bad, but um, that in turn may have kind of given the fungus an opportunity to grow because it's in, in doing, in killing all the bad bacteria, the antibiotics have also killed a lot of the helpful bacteria that, um, that would otherwise prevent the, the fungus from multiplying. Um, so again, just stripping away as much as possible here. And again, we want to ideally strip away as much debris as possible so that then medication can have a better chance of working. So, and we'll take a look at this um, perforation as well. This is known about, this happened, um, I, I think about a year and a half ago, this perforation. So the patient is aware of it. Um, and now, it, because there's a perforation there, it makes the treatment a little bit more complex, but, um, it, typically any kind of drops, particularly anything kind of uh, acidic or alcohol with alcohol in it will be very uncomfortable. So um, it might be the case that the, the patient will have to self-treat by, get, by getting some antifungal cream, putting it on a cotton bud and then just very carefully um, kind of swabbing the ear with this um, antimycotic cream um, or the doctor might have a, a, a better um, method of doing that. So I'm gonna send this patient to their general practitioner doctor now uh, with a few images and um, hopefully they can get this cleared up. Um, so although I've removed the debris with the fungus on it, as you can see, that's not necessarily an indication that the infection has gone. So the, the fungus might still be living in there. Um, so although the hyphae, a lot of the visible hyphae has been removed and the hyphae is the, the sprouting part of the fungus, the actual bed of the fungus, what we call the mycelium, might still be kind of lurking in there. So um, we'll, we'll get this patient seen by the doctor for treatment. But uh, a short video today, but very interesting. Um, so very similar to the first fungal infection video, but um, the hyphae of this case was just a little bit kind of more prominent, a bit furrier, a bit fuzzier. So there we go. Hope you found that one interesting and thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments, leave them down in the description. Uh, if you have any questions, excuse me, leave them down in the comment section below and I will try my very best to get back to you and I will see you on the next video.